This video is sponsored by Intel. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And if you know me, you know I tend to bring around a lot of stuff in my backpack. And Intel actually challenged me to leave behind my laptop tablet combo and give this HP Pavilion X360 a try, which is a two-in-one with their latest eighth generation Core i7 processor. And with that new chip that promises to deliver better performance, which means jumping into my programs really quickly, even game a little bit, and video and photo edit without a problem. So of course that means leaving my current laptop and tablet behind and seeing how this thing performs. And with this whole idea, the thing that I'm gonna be looking for the most is how fast everything goes because we're talking about the processor. All right guys, so it's happening. I'm gonna get rid of my laptop Ooh. and my tablet. Both of these guys are getting traded out. But this guy right here, this is the HP Pavilion X360. And this is a two-in-one, it's a laptop, and of course, I can bring the screen all the way back and turn it into a tablet. So this is why I'm going to be swapping them out. And this is gonna be a pretty interesting move. I haven't extensively used two-in-ones before, uh, so replacing both my laptop and my tablet is going to be a big deal for me. But I'm pretty confident this thing has some pretty decent specs. And the interesting thing with this guy is that it has an Intel eighth generation Core i7 processor with Optane memory. And for my folks out there who don't know what Optane memory is, it's pretty much Intel smart memory that allows the computer to learn your favorite apps, uh, files, all that kind of stuff, and gives it the ability to launch them a lot more quickly. So pretty much things like big game files, editing software, that kind of stuff you'll be able to jump into a lot more quickly rather than sitting around and waiting and waiting for it to load up. The Optane memory should help it to be a lot faster. But now I gotta spend a lot more time with this thing. I'm gonna be working from it all day and we're gonna see how it does. All right guys, so I've been working on this thing for a little bit now and even playing a little bit on the side. Uh, but one thing I will say, it is super snappy. So I have a lot of tabs open and that's something that is pretty important to me. Uh, being able to have a bunch of tabs while I'm working, that's how I am on my desktop. And being able to have that same experience on this two-in-one, it actually makes me feel a lot more comfortable going into this whole uh, challenge having this thing for a while. So. Being able to do that is awesome. Um, I've even been able to jump into my games quite a bit. So I got my games open over here and honestly, it is just super snappy jumping between the two. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff open here and I'm glad to see that it's not bogging down, especially with Chrome. Chrome with a bunch of tabs, you know what it can do to a computer. So I'm definitely seeing the benefits of that 8th gen processor, being able to jump into different uh, programs and tabs really quickly. I love it, even if there's a lot of them going on. So it's good stuff. But one thing though, guys, I do have this stylus that goes with this two-in-one. Uh, I really like when a stylus can just sit somewhere on a you know laptop or something because then I don't have to worry about placing it anywhere. But this one doesn't really have that. So that kind of sucks. But when it comes to actually using it, it's kind of cool. I don't think when I'm in laptop mode, it's something I'd always reach for. Uh, most likely when I have it in its tablet mode, that's when it's gonna be a bit more beneficial. Me personally, I don't like putting my fingerprints on the screen. Even if it is a touch screen, putting my fingerprint on it just kinda, I don't know, it doesn't sit well with me. So I like using a stylus for those situations. So I was using it for a little bit and performance was actually really good. Uh, I was able to do all my scripting and emailing and all that kind of stuff with no problem, of course. But what really surprised me was how well everything worked, even though I had a bunch of programs open. I even had a game running in the back and I couldn't notice any slowdowns, which is really surprising. And the more I got used to using it, the more I kind of saw the benefits of having that laptop power in even a tablet form. And honestly guys, one of my main reasons for even having a tablet is to watch some videos before I go to bed. Right now I'm watching my buddy Austin Evans' video, some of the ones that I missed on his channel. And the screen is actually really nice. It's got a really good display. It's 1080p, and you can see right here, there's a lot of nice colors, it's vibrant. It's got a lot of pop to it. I can definitely get used to having this thing in bed with me in stand mode, especially since I can prop it up and have it at the angle that I want. And if I don't want it to take up too much space, I could even do it like this, and I could just prop it up against my headboard. So I like this, this is a good look. It's a good quality display, so I can't complain. And the speakers are actually pretty good too. They're from Bang & Olufsen, so they sound pretty decent. Definitely great for media consumption. Now guys, I know this isn't revolutionary or anything, but for me, this is pretty cool, where I'm able to actually go ahead and edit some photos for Instagram while eating a bowl of cereal. I'm No, I'm not the first guy to eat some cereal and edit a picture for Instagram at the same time. But for me, this is just, really cool. Now, I'm, I'm glad I can do this because I'm in tablet mode right now, so I don't have to worry about taking a bite. 
That was a good bite. And this situation is pretty cool because I can do my work and eat and not worry about milk splashing onto the keyboard or anything like that. Or even have to worry about touching what's on the screen with my hands because I got my stylus. And like I said, this is the best way uh, I think you can use the stylus when it's in tablet mode. So I can go ahead and make all of my changes here. And it actually responds so quickly. You can see all the changes happen instantly. So this thing doesn't get bogged down. And this is a pretty large file. This is a raw file that I'm working with right now. So I really feel like it's these kind of situations that you don't really think of that make having a two-in-one kind of special compared to just a regular tablet or a laptop. The tablet wouldn't have the specs of this guy and a laptop would just be a little bit scarier to work with. This is pretty cool. And using this thing to photo edit was cool, even with raw files, which can definitely be a drag on certain computers if they're not good enough. Uh, those raw files are massive sometimes. So being able to do that fluidly here was really nice. And this is where I felt like the challenge kicked in a little bit because I didn't have access to my hardcore video editing apps, but I did mess around with Adobe Premiere and some 4K footage, and it didn't seem to slow down the machine at all, so that's definitely a good sign. But in terms of other day-to-day -day activities, like just traveling, this thing was actually really nice. So right now I'm actually in an Uber. I'm on my way to my house. I have a couple of meetings with a few contractors, but I'm only gonna be bringing my two-in-one with me. Uh, it's gonna be the only device I'm gonna do work from, so. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna do well because I've been using it for a little while and it's been holding up pretty well. So I actually feel like I'm in a safe place where I can take this, get everything I need to get done on it and pretty much be okay with it being the only device I have in my backpack. All right, so I'm in the house now. I pretty much got my work done in the Uber. So now I'm just waiting for the contractor to get here for our meeting. And honestly, this is like the perfect time for me to just play some games. And this is why I like having Intel's Optane memory. I can just kind of throw up a game really quickly and start it before somebody gets here, kind of get a quick gaming session in. And kind of like I said before, the Optane memory is really good when it comes to opening up a large library, uh, dealing with like really large video files, and even playing some games, opening up some really large games. And the whole idea behind that, for some of you who might not get it, it pretty much is supposed to make a standard hard drive kind of act like it's an SSD. It's supposed to give you those quicker speeds. So even though you've got a standard hard drive with a larger capacity, you're not gonna miss out on those SSD speeds. That's the whole idea behind Intel's Optane memory. Kind of make those regular hard drives give you a bit better speed so that you can kind of do what you need to do really quickly. So if this guy pops in, I'll already have gotten a gaming session in and then I can go on with my meeting. And having this thing as my only device kind of opened my eyes to how much ground a solid swim one could actually cover, even though I didn't have access to some of my favorite apps from other operating systems. If you're gonna be putting all of your faith into one device, you're gonna want it to be good for work, media consumption, and even gaming if you're into it. But overall, I was pretty impressed with the HP Pavilion and Intel's eighth generation processor. Uh, looking at it on paper, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I feel like this is the kind of device that gives you enough power to do a bit more than you would expect with a normal laptop, which gives you some room to grow in case you get more demanding needs as time goes on. Like I said, very snappy, very fluid, was able to multitask with no problem. And I think a lot of that is possible thanks to the eighth generation processor and that Optane memory. Now, if you've got an old computer and you're due for an upgrade, this is definitely a solid option. But if a two-in-one isn't really your style, of course, the eighth generation processor is going to be throughout a ton of different devices. So you want to keep your eyes out for that. And I really think that's what you want to look for when you're buying a new laptop or something. So you can at least future-proof yourself so you'll be able to do all the kind of tasks that you saw me do and then some in the future. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer.